Energy Mastery 101. Christ Consciousness. In this video, I'm going to provide all the information required to master your energy and the energy that is all around you. Everything in existence is energy vibrating at different frequencies and it does so in waveform. This is why we surf those waves, to stay upon the crests so that we do not go under. Because if we go under, then quite often those waves of life compound upon us and keep us under. Yet by surfing upon the waves, we're able to experience and enjoy the ups and the downs, the peaks and the troughs of existence. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so and share this video with all of your tribe and on all platforms so that the information is reached and used by as many people as possible. There's never been a more important time to control where we distribute and the energies which we absorb because there is so much negativity in the air at present and by mastering energy and the energy within yourself, you become a manifestation master just as Christ was himself. Click the subscribe button now and I look forward to sharing all this content with you in a moment. So, energy mastery, to master energy. The term energy mastery is simply when you master something, you become an expert in it. Energy mastery, to become a master of energy. So everything is energy. So you become an, a master of everything, a master of life, yes? How did Christ turn water into wine? part the seas and turn a few objects into many. In truth, alchemy, manifestation, allows for the creation of any material through the manipulation of that energy which creates it. So everything is energy. This wall is just energy vibrating as much as I am myself. I appear solid and I'm able to experience and perceive this wall to be solid because of the density of it. Because it is vibrating at such a high frequency, it appears solid. Yeah, returning back to the natural state of form, exiting the egoic mind in the 3D realm, we can experience energy as simply energy. We can see the web of existence, likened to the way that Neo sees it in the Matrix. But it is not green, it is more of a golden white light. Everything is basically data, code. And it links in quite heavily with the holographic universe principle. You exist in a state of vibration. And whatever you vibrate at, the law of attraction dictates that you will then receive from the universe around you. Where you are now is not your fault. Everything you have experienced so far in life has been exactly what was required to, to take you to this point now. And where you are now is the perfect place to move forward from. If you hadn't have experienced everything you had in the past, you wouldn't be listening to this video now. Everything that has happened has brought you to this point now. And after watching this video and gaining the information, it is then up to you to do the work required. To not do the work, to not make the changes when you know it is possible, that is your choice. And thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So say I. 
by bringing in another person's energy unknowingly being an empath and actually allowing for the connection of others and the draining from others to take place is something that when you are mindfully aware of you can prevent without being aware of it there is no way of preventing it so look at it like fishing every interaction is an exchange of energy I am giving energy every time I create, every time I have a conversation, and whoever I am in contact with and connection with is the most important person in the universe to me. Speaking to you now, you are the most important being that ever has, shall, or does exist. As without you, the universe does not exist for you to experience. So every interaction is an exchange of energy. We go to work, we exchange time for money. We have a conversation, we exchange energy. We exchange information. We exchange whatever exchange is just an exchange of energy. If it is one-sided, it leaves one person drained. Every relationship is based on compromise, including the relationship with yourself. You have to compromise in order to go to work to then be able to do the more enjoyable aspects of life. The more fun and joyful experiences come through the compromise at going to work, and doing the things that you would rather not do. If you are, okay, most drains, most attachments, most... Demons, let's say demons, negative entities, negative qualities that are attached to you, you come through childhood. Say you exist in completion as a two-year-old child. You are wronged or shamed by somebody that you look to for guidance and appreciation. Somebody that you want to accept you and to love you. They wrong you. They tell you you are negative or bad or naughty or they put negativity towards you. And in order to try to gain back what they have just taken from you, which is a piece of positivity, you throw positivity at them. You almost open yourself up so that they can come in and connect to you and fill themselves up. If a child is being loud and playful and a parent tells them to be quiet, that child lowers themselves and then will feel negative about having upset the parent. This is linked into being an empath. And then literally open themselves up energetically so the parent can take the energy required to uplift themselves to feel more positive. And this is done because the child perceives that it is the parent's negativity that is being caused by the child. So the child has done something to cause the parent upset, so they give themselves freely. Or if you see somebody in pain, oh, poor me, this, that, or the other, poor this, poor that, poor me, and you listen to them and you want to take away their pain, which is, again, a perfectly normal thing to want to do, especially being an empath, then again, it is like you're opening yourself up and that person will literally put their negativity into you and take positivity away from you. You are left feeling polluted and drained and tired. Yes, you have allowed them a feeling of uplift and a brief moment of rest from that turmoil, but without addressing the issues, without taking ownership of those issues, without existing in a creatorship manner, they will never experience freedom from that trauma. And all you're doing is collecting up other people's issues, carrying them around as though they are your own. We are like sponges. There are two types of people in existence. There is always two sides to the coin. Light and dark, day and night, hot and cold, love and the separation of it. 
fear and everything which stems from that. There are people that fill you up, that lift you up, that inspire you and encourage you. There are taps. And then there are people which drain you, which push you down, which limit you and negatively affect you, that take everything they can from you. And they are drains. If you spend time around drains, you will be constantly drained. If you spend time around taps, you will be constantly filled. Next time you have an interaction with somebody, literally view it as an energy exchange. View yourself as a vessel containing energy, a cup containing water, or even a sponge containing water, and the other person. And watch when they try to give their negativity to you and how it makes you feel. Then go over, if you have not yet done so, once again, subscribe to the channel. You're already on YouTube, so you haven't got to go anywhere else. Subscribe to the channel and go to the Pillar of Protective White Light video. There's an energy protection and cleansing aspect playlist on the channel. And in that, it teaches you how to protect yourself. Have an interaction now and then have an interaction once you have cleansed and purified and protected yourself. Notice the difference. Notice how they are no longer able to affect you, just as though you have put a pillar of protective white light around you and any negativity, any darkness that tries to penetrate that pillar just becomes the light, as nothing can exist in the light other than light. If you accept another person's pain, it is like you are soaking up that negative energy. And if you give negative energy out to somebody, then it is like you are polluting them, like a body of water. A single drop of red food colouring added to that water will pollute the body of water and cause all life, all life forms within that body to become polluted by it. You exist as a thousand different versions. There are many elements and aspects to you, and it is the unification of all of those elements which brings that unity one consciousness, that Christ consciousness. The greatest thing you could ever teach your children, the youth and the, the leaders of tomorrow, is how to master and protect their energy. Oh, please like me. Please think I'm good enough. Please, please. I know I'm good enough. I don't need to give or to do anything to feel justified in my capabilities and my worth of existence. I don't need to please you or to prove myself to you. I know who I am and I am more than good enough, just as I am. You can tell people that are confident because they exert and they beam. There is an energy which transcends and transmits from them out to the universe around. The larger your auric field, the more that you are seen, the more that you are heard, the more that you are a beacon of light to help guide those that are lost in the fog and darkness and the illusion of the matrix. Energy Mastery 101. So protecting yourself, learning to utilize the breath to breathe in energy, that universal pranic life force energy that is all around you at all times. A single breath in and out, done mindfully, is meditation in simplistic terms, and brings in that energy. You can build it up. I often do a morning ritual, which again will be found on YouTube, where I build up my energies, creating that bubble of protection and expanding my auric field so that I am then able to keep myself, first of all, protected and then expansive to the capability to be seen and heard by as many people as possible, to reach as many souls as possible in the work that I do that I am guided towards doing, and that I am honoured and privileged to be able to do. 
The power of the breath is a beautiful way to build up your energies. But the simplistic fact and knowledge that everything is energy, to view every interaction as a simple energy exchange, to see the way that one person tries to bully or manipulate another person into doing what they want so that they are able to take their energy from them and to watch another person willingly give it away due to programs and feelings of being insignificant and needing to be told or led in what they do or watching them struggle and try to defy and deny that theft. It is very interesting to watch interactions of other people, especially children, when they get to that sort of teenage area where they are learning that they are fully separate, their egos are starting to develop and they are trying to gain or understand their place in society to see how much they can take from other people if that is the way they have been raised and educated to do so. But in truth, there is no requirement to take energy from anybody else because it is infinite and all you need to do is take it or receive it from the universe around you. So in keeping with becoming an energy master, being able to manifest the life of your dreams and live that life, your greatest life in all ways, your best life now, we have created an Energy Mastery 101 course. We are continuing to create free and purchasable courses in order to bring to you the greatest potential and depth of information in the most utilizable and transformational way. The one-on-one -on -one sessions that I offer will change your entire life forever. But I know that they come at a significant investment in time and money. And it is not just within the sessions that the work take place, but every moment between and leading forward from. Yeah, once we have connected, we will always be connected. So if you are guided to take a one-on-one -on -one session with myself, then I am very, very grateful and humbled to be able to bring to you everything required to take you upon that journey of liberation and freedom and to align you with who you truly are, to create inner completion and unity one consciousness. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for this opportunity. But if you would rather take a less personal approach, one which is more reachable on a time and monetary sense, as everything is energy, time is energy, money is energy, this breath in and out, everything is energy, okay? Take this course. Within it is everything required to align you back to the truth of who you are, to cleanse your energies and reconnect you back to your childhood self. It is likened to being reborn, as once you disconnect everything that was previously holding you back or draining you or limiting you, once you return everybody's energy that was not yours or that negativity and actually take back everything that was, you return to being energetically likened to when you were first born before any of these implications took place. Hmm. And then you are truly yourself. You are not taking other people's programs or beliefs. If you do something and you don't understand why or you have in the past, it is quite often not even your own program. It is something you have picked up by, from somebody else and that you run because it is there and you don't realize it is not part of your core being. So head over to greatestversion.club, have a look at all the courses. There are some free courses, as we say, and there are some very, very powerful and life-changing courses, such as the Seven Weeks to Enlightenment. Yet the Energy Mastery 101 is a very beautiful course to start with. It will take you from a beginner level all the way through to the more advanced intermediate level. And after having taken this course, it would then be the per you will be in the perfect position to take 
and the later courses, the Five Steps to Freedom or the Seven Weeks to Enlightenment. And as I say, it is my honour and privilege to be able to bring this information and to be part of your journey as you are part of mine. I will leave the link in the description below. Once again, please subscribe to the channel and actually head over to Mainstream Meditation as on that YouTube channel, our sister channel, is some very powerful transcendental guided meditations, some chakra cleansing meditations, some energizing and some aspects of the book that we are writing or that I am writing. I am writing A Beginner's Guide to Meditation Mastery and in that I will include the actual video and audio content so that it is on as many platforms as possible and as widely reachable as possible. Because the reason, once again, other than the fact that I do what I do because I am who I am and I can because I am, I do it because I can, but I do it for the creation of a world of true equality, for the liberation of yourself and everybody else. I thank you for who you are and everything you do. Please head over to the website now, have a look at the course and all the content within. Take the course and on completion of it, receive the completion one-on-one -on -one session with either myself or a member of the team. And if it is myself that does it, then you will be receiving a, the course and a session with myself for a lot less than what a single session would otherwise be. So how does that even work? It works because it is the investment in yourself that is being rewarded. Only by investing in yourself do you allow or do you show the universe that you are to be invested within. Whatever you vibrate at, you attract as you align with it yourself. Invest in yourself now and give the universe the signal, the go ahead to start to show you that investment returned. Hmm. Thank you. Infinite blessings. Now and forever, we are in this together. United we stand and together we rise. Grand rising, all you beautiful, beautiful souls. And until next time, Namaste. Thank you for who you are and all you continue to do. Thank you for continuing to gain the knowledge, the wisdom, for continuing to look within and doing the work required to bring freedom to not only yourself, but everybody else. As you continue to do the work, as you continue to expand your consciousness and awareness, you continue the expansion and awareness of everybody else, helping others to break free from that limitation and illusion of old. Continue to support me in all I do. Continue to grow the movement and continue to grow yourself. <laughs>